A pension is a form of deferred compensation earned over time through employee service. Employees are promised some form of monetary benefit after they retire. The most common pension arrangements are defined contribution plans and defined benefit plans. A defined contribution plan is a retirement plan in which the firm contributes a sum each period to the employee's retirement account. This contribution can be based on any number of factors, like the employee's age, years of service, his compensation level, or the firm's profitability. In any event, the firm makes no promise to the employee regarding the future payout to the employee. The employee makes the investment decisions, like in this case, the employee chooses Portfolio C out of the choices he was given. The employee takes responsibility for the decision, so all of the investment risk lies with the employee. If the investment decision turns out to be bad, the employee has no recourse but to accept the outcome at retirement. Conversely, in a defined benefit plan, the firm promises to make periodic payments to employees after retirement. The promised benefit is usually based on the employee's years of service, the employee's compensation at retirement, and the benefit factor. For example, an employee who has worked for 30 years with a final salary of $100,000 and a benefit factor of 1% will be expecting a retirement benefit of $30,000 per year payable until death. Unlike the defined contribution plan, the employee does not need to be concerned about the investment decisions. The employee can just take the pension system as a black box. The employer is responsible to make the appropriate contributions and investment decisions. The employer needs to ensure that there is sufficient pension assets to pay out the promised benefits when they are due. In this case, the employer assumes all the investment risk. In practice, most firms set up a trust to manage the pension assets. The trust is responsible for generating the income and principal growth necessary to pay the pension obligations as they become due. The employer is responsible to make regular contributions to the trust fund so that this objective can be achieved. When it comes to financial reporting, the requirements for defined contribution plans are straightforward. Pension expense is simply equal to the employer's contribution. There is no future obligation to report on the balance sheet as a liability. Things are much more complicated, however, for a defined benefit plan. This is because the employer must estimate the value of the future obligation to its employees. Things like an employee's number of years of service in the future and the employee's final salary can only be estimated. So are other metrics like employee turnover, average retirement age, mortality rates, and an appropriate discount rate to discount the future benefit to its present value. On the other hand, we have the fair value of the pension assets. If the fair value is greater than the present value of the estimated pension liabilities, the plan is said to be overfunded. The sponsoring firm records a net pension asset on its balance sheet. Conversely, if the fair value is less than the estimated pension liabilities, the plan is underfunded. The firm records a net pension liability. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.